guys, thank you so much for that opportunity. Uh, David, I'm going to start with you. Yes. All right, Mr. David. Uh, I think, how long you have been uh, with the Kurdish? So could you tell me what you're doing here, please? So in the last six years, I have been 16 times in your country. Wow. So I'm very involved in decision maker people in your country. And this time, my Swiss friend said, I'm in charge for the schedule of Kurdish House. Can you be there for a panel and be around with people? So I said, yes, because I like Kurdish people. I'm here for the Kurdish people. All right. So uh, before, I'm going to ask you a serious question. But first, let's just start with the food, with the chai, tea, and then we will go to yes, the politics. <laughs> yeah, are you ready, guys? Yes. All right. So. How is the taste of the Kurdish food? It's great. So, of course, you have chai and you have dolma, but I'm still missing the kebab. Maybe it's coming. <laughs> Next time. Maybe tomorrow. You know, after tomorrow. Don't worry. So, you are here. I'm sure the Kurdish, how they will give you everything, not just you, for everyone. All right. So, and how about the food? The do uh, everything. All right. So, let's start with some tough question. Could you tell me right now, you know, so many European people, European politicians, you know, business, European businessmen, they, they, they are a little bit afraid to Middle East to go there yes. to make it uh, business, you know, like visiting. But the reality, if you look at the, the Iraqi Kurdistan, is 100 person total different. There is the security. There is too many investment. What do you think? Uh, we would like to take Europe. Yes. Here. Yeah, please. David. I agree totally. Every time when I'm standing at the air, airport in Erbil arriving, yeah. I'm thinking it's quite normal here. Yeah. And people in Germany say, "Oh, he's in Iraq. It's dangerous." And you can make holiday in your country. You can make even going by cycle through Kurdistan. You can climb the mountains. And what I think what's very important is that people have to hear the stories about reality. Yes. They think about war, about special troops, so, about ISIS. So this is Kurdish house. Yes. So what do you think? This is, is, is it important because this is the, the under the, the prime minister of the Kurdistan, Masrur Barzani. So tomorrow he will be here. Yes. So do you think this is how important this Kurdish house for the for the, for the people from Europe, they have to know. Yes. I think the, the main thing is people have to come in contact with locals. Okay. They know you from the press. Yeah. And of course, in press, I need to have pictures from destroyed houses. So all these... ISIS has a history, but it's over. And to say, if the media are always referring to ISIS pictures, to destruction pictures, that's not reality. You have reconstructed a lot, you have invested a lot. It's a holiday country. But unfortunately, David, there are so many European people, they don't know. Yes. Their career, you know. Uh, as you said, so it's very important, Kurdish house, for, for the Kurdish yes. and for, for yes. the... For the European people also. All right. So this is one of my main work to build bridges yeah. between this decision good, makers. Yeah. Because if I, so you know, German is the yeah. second biggest donor yeah, uh, country. Belgium, yeah, so we can lose German. money, yeah. Yeah. and the people who make the decisions have to know what situation on the ground. Yeah. And very often they've never been there. Is it surprise so, for you this kind of thing? I tell you a story. Yeah, please. I'm with a Swiss friend okay. in Switzerland. Okay. Very Swiss formal. And I was thinking, how will it be Kurdish house? And when we stand over the street and I watched in, I saw, this is Kurdish. They are standing like Kurdish. They have tea like Kurdish. This Dolma. is Kurdish. Yes, Dolma. <laughs> <laughs> so when I entered, it's feeling like Kurdistan. I just want to tell you also, guys, because I've been almost 10 years in Europe, I feel also the same, you know. It's really like you are in Kurdistan. Yeah. All right, David. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go yes. to with your friend, Mr. All right, Joel. Yeah, Mr. Joel. May I have the mic, yes. please? All right, thank you. Abu Buren, Aspalai, Mr. Rakai, you want me to say them? What you need to is about the Mali Kurdistan, about the Oh, don't worry. Okay, thank you. Yes. All right, please. Let's start with you. Sure. Uh, I'm not going to repeat it. Yeah, yeah. The same question, Absolutely. but please tell me something uh, here. Something for you very interesting for the Kurdish, yeah. for the, the general. Yeah, I think the the I, I really love the the dynamism of the 
of a, 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 a people creation, seeing through the brochure, the education, the economy. And I see really a vibrant, very high skilled people um, who just have a passion to build something really great. Diverse culture, high skill. And I think it's so exciting to see that taking shape, not just the great buildings, but, but especially the people and the culture. This is really exciting, the, the project, the vision of the, of the building of the, of, of the Kurdistan is extremely exciting. really touched me deeply to see that. All right, so that's really interesting and really, that's really, that's right. So I've been giving you also. So let's start with the, there are so many things here in this Kurdish house. You know, here they are going to give them the people when they are visitors. Today, today morning to right now, there are so many visitors that have been here, you know. So many people, I made an interview with them, without the cameras. They told us this is very important and this is a surprise yeah, for absolutely. the European people. Absolutely. Yep. So do you think this kind of project has to continue? Oh, of course. Future, not of just course. Davos, but yep. the country. Yeah. What, what I really love... But not just Europe, yeah. because not just economy, it's like culture. It's absolutely, like absolutely. Quality. And I think what, what is interesting, we could see a brochure on a stand somewhere. But when we enter in the Kurdish house, as David was saying, I feel that in every of this house in, in Davos, we enter in a country. We are, we are how they hold, and it's so, such a wonderful hospitality, the cha, chai, and the, the, just the warmth to first, before, it's, before seeing a business opportunity, we meet the people. We are welcomed by, I mean, you, this is so well done here. And then we can take a seat and observe Okay, seeing the thing, what is there that I need to know about, about, uh, about the region, about Kurdistan, and also to meet the, the, some of the leader of the business world right here. It's such a golden opportunity. And this is rare. It's not just a brochure. It's not just a documentary. This is real life connection we can have right here. And this right. is the beauty of this place. All right, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Enjoy food, drink, dolma, tea, everything. Thank you. Yeah. And, uh, it's fast. It's fast. <laughs> tomorrow, after tomorrow, to monitoring the, the, the meeting yeah. right yeah. there. Absolutely. All right, guys. Thank Absolutely. you. Take care. <laughs>